Okay, this I want to do some review problems and I'll get to the assignment. This is pretty short. 18% of the land in Florida is covered by water. If the water covers 11,000 square miles, what's the total land area in Florida? So the percent says of, after it, which means we need this a chart. So percent, actual, okay. So it says total and then the trait that defines a percent is covered by water. And then of course not. Now, you got 100%, you've got 18% covered by water, and then we take 100 minus 18, and that's 82, 82%, okay? That's really not needed, okay? Now, work your way back from the question mark, stop when you get to comma. It says, what's the total land in your area in Florida? That's where the X goes, so it's not covered by water. X is this, the covered by water is 11,000 square miles. So we put 18 over 100 equals 11,000 over x. So you cross multiply and divide. So we take 100 times 11,000 divided by 18. Just again, square miles, you're not talking about money, so just put 61,111 square miles. Okay. 20% of my monthly check is spent on groceries. If I make $2,000 in a month, how much is spent on groceries? So there's that of. So then you have percent and actual. So the trait that defines a percent is is spent on groceries. So you can just put spent is on groceries. And then we got the part that's not spent on groceries. So you have 100%. We have 20% spent on groceries. And then we take 100 minus 20, and that's 80. Now work your way back. Okay. How much is spent on groceries? So this time I need to find how much is spent on groceries. So there's the X. And there's two thousand dollars in a month. That's your total. So the so you have twenty over one hundred equals x over two thousand. Okay. Cross multiply and divide. Okay. So twenty. I think it's four hundred. So four hundred dollars. Two-thirds of the animals at the zoo are reptiles. If there are 120 animals, how many are reptiles? So again, it's a fraction this time, So, but it's of after it. Okay. So you set up the same table, but instead of percent and actual, you write fraction and actual. And you don't put 100 on the bottom. Total. So are reptiles. And then not. So on a fraction, the 3 is your total on the fraction, and the 2 is the amount that are reptiles. Now we take 3 minus 2, and that's 1. Okay. Now we got to decide where that, what, it says how many are reptiles, so there's your X. So that's what we're finding, 180 animals total. So it's 2 thirds equals x over 180. So I cross multiply and divide by 3 and I get 120. Okay, 120 reptiles. Actually, this one wouldn't be animals, you'd put reptiles. Okay. Okay, then the last one. A set of golf clubs are marked 40% off the original price. The price is $360 after the markup. How much did the clubs cost before the markup? So the percent this time doesn't say of. It says off. So that's your adjusted percent, not the table. Adjusted percent times before equals after. So the question's asking me the before. So the X is going to be here. Now the adjusted percent, you take 100% and you subtract your 40% because it's off. That's why you have to adjust the percent. You have 60%, move the decimal twice to the left, so 0 0.60. 
and then after is three hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. Now we have to get the x by itself. It's multiplied by zero point sixty, so we divide by zero point sixty, and that gives me my answer, which I believe is six hundred. Yep. So six hundred dollars. Now, this next part is pretty easy. I have three formulas up there. It says speed, to find the speed of a car, how fast a car is moving, you take the distance divided by the time. To find the distance a car travels, that means how many miles total, you take the speed it travels multiplied by your time it travels. To find the time a car travels, distance divided by speed. So we need to be looking up there. It says a car travels 250 miles over a time of five hours, find its speed. Okay, so speed is what we're finding, and that equals distance divided by time. Okay, so the distance is 250 miles. Distance is always miles, and the time is 5 hours. So then 250 divided by 5 is 50, and you label it miles per hour. The speed, when you refine speed, it's per, okay? So miles per hour, miles per hour. Okay, next problem. A car travels at a speed of 60 miles per hour for a time of four hours. Find the distance it traveled. Okay, so distance this time. The distance equals speed multiplied by time. So the speed is your miles per hour, that's 60 and your time is 4 hours. So 60 times 4 is 240. Now the label on distance is just miles. Okay, That's how many miles it traveled. Car travels a distance of 600 miles at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. Find the time it traveled. So time equals distance divided by speed. So the distance is 600 miles, and the speed is 60 miles per hour. So then we divide 600 by 60, and we get 10. Okay. Now the label on time is just hours. Okay. 10 hours. Okay, a car travels at a speed of 55 miles per hour for a time of 2 hours. Find the distance it traveled. So distance equals speed multiplied by time. So the speed is 55 miles per hour, and the time is 2. So 55 times 2 is 110. Okay, distance is just labeled as miles. Okay, a car travels a distance of 400 miles at an average speed of 80 miles per hour. Find the time it travels. So time equals distance divided by speed. So the distance is 400 and the speed is 80. So 400 divided by 80 is 5, so the time equals 5. 5 what? 5 hours. Okay, then the next one, a car travels a distance of 300 miles for a time of 5 hours. Find its speed. Speed equals distance divided by time. So the distance is 300 miles, and the time is 5 hours. So 30, 300 divided by 5 is 60. Now to label speed, it's per, and it's miles per hour. Okay. Pause this video and do the three problems right there. Okay. And then continue. Now, we are going to apply what we just learned, okay? It says a car is traveling 70 miles per hour. A car traveling 70 miles per hour travels 75 miles farther than a car that travels 60 miles per hour. Find the distance each car travels. It says a car has traveled for the same amount of time, okay? This is what we do on a distance speed time problem. We write those three formulas right there. Speed equals distance divided by time, distance equals speed 
multiply by time and time equals distance divided by speed okay now you're gonna make a table here it's not it's it's two rows and three columns and what you're gonna put is one and two this is car number one car number two just put one and two so you're gonna put speed here you're going to put distance here, and you're going to put time here. Now the speeds. Now we don't we we don't need to take distance by by time because you mean you know the speeds are the miles per hour, and they give us those. We have 60 miles per hour there, and we have 70 miles per hour here. Remember speeds. So I don't need this formula here. I just put 70 and 60. Okay. So this was not needed. They told me what the speeds were. Now the distance, remember distance is measured in miles in this problem. Now what's the distance? Do I know the distance? I don't, but I know something about it. I know that the car that goes faster travels 75 miles farther. Farther means plus 75. Then the car going 60 miles per hour. Find the distance each car travels. Now, here's what you're going to do with distance. See that 75? What you're going to do is go to the, the car with the higher speed, the 70, and put a plus 75 right there. Now, what plus 75? I don't know, so I use a variable, x, because that's unknown. Because that's the answer to the problem. Okay. Now, in this one, in this distance right here, we just put an X without the plus 75 because we don't know either one of these, but we're going to have the same variable because we know that this one goes 75 miles further. When you don't know two things, but you know that one's this much more than the other, you just add that number to the variable. Okay. Now, the time. We know nothing about the time. We know that they travel for the same time. So put in equals, please, between those two. So since I know that the times are equal, now is when I, and I don't need this formula here, now is when I have to go with my distance divided by speed. Okay? Distance divided by speed. So look at car number one. The distance is x plus 75 and the speed is 70. So we never can divide because we don't know what the x is. Now over here I put a division bar and I put x the distance and 60 the speed. Okay. Now what I do then, I'm going to find the I'm going to set those equal to each other. So x plus 75 over 70 equals x over 60. Now you're going to have to use your a, b, c, d thing here. Okay, so that's the equals with the two parentheses there. So set those up and go A, B, C, D. So this is A, this is B. So it's X plus 75 times 60 and C, D, that's X and 70. Okay, so we have a plus here. So we have to take 60 times 75 and 60 times x. So 60 times x, 60 times 75. So that's 60x. And 60 times 75 is 4,500. So 60x plus 4,500. Now over here you don't have a plus. You just put 70x. 70, you need the x behind it. Now you have x on opposite sides, so take the smaller one out, just subtract 60 from both sides, and 70x minus 60x is 10x. So now I have 4,500, so I have 10 over here times x. So you just need to divide by 10. 4,500 divided by 10 is 450 equals x. Now that's your first answer. Now here's what you do to find your second one. Remember, you're finding the miles. You're finding the distance. So you cross out each of your x's and put 450. So you know you, your 450 is the slower car. Now to find the other one, you just take 450 and add 75. 450 plus 75 is 525. So those are your answers. Okay, next problem. 
A car traveling 85 miles per hour travels 200 miles further, remember that means plus 200, than the car that travels 65 miles per hour. Find the distance each car travels. A car travels for the same amount of time. So speed equals distance divided by time. Distance equals speed multiplied by time. And the time equals distance divided by speed. Okay. So then you set up your table, split it down the two rows, three columns. So car one, car two. So speed first, then distance, then time. So the speeds, don't use that formula if you don't if you have something to put in there already. See speed is a miles per hour, so I have 85 miles per hour and 65 miles per hour. So 85, put the faster one first, then 65. Okay, then the distance. Distance is the miles, not the miles per hour. Well, we see this 200 miles further, so that doesn't mean you just put 200. That means you put plus 200 in the, with the faster car. What plus 200, I don't know. It's X. So we're going to have the same variable here just without the plus 200. So I didn't need that. I didn't need that. But I do need the time, because I don't have anything about the time. All I know about the time is that they're equal. But I know time is expressed as distance over speed. Okay, So distance, I don't even like to say divided by, because I can't divide, because I don't know what x is. Over 85, and the time is x, the speed's 65. Okay, So you line those up into a proportion because you know they're equal, it said, for the same amount of time. So x plus 200 over 85, x over 65. Now, we're obviously going to have to solve this by using my ABCD method. Okay, You can't just multiply and divide, not going to work. So x plus 200 times 65. Over here, you've got x times 85. Okay, so the plus means you have to distribute 65 times x and 65 times 200. So that's 65x. 65, 65 times 200, I think, is 13,000. So you get 65x plus 13,000. On the other side, you put 85x. Now you take out your smaller x. Just subtract it from 85, and that gives me 20x, 13,000, okay? Then you just need to divide by 20. So 13,000 divided by 20 is 650, so that's your first answer. Miles, remember you're finding the distance, so 650, 650. So 650 plus 200 is 850. And then I already have the 650. Okay, I'm going to do one more. One car travels 75 miles per hour on a trip, while another car travels 60 miles per hour. At the end of the trip, the first car traveled 120 miles further. How far did each car travel? They travel for equal amounts of times. So again, speed equals distance divided by time. I don't think I'm going to need to use that. Distance equals speed multiplied by time. And then the time equals the distance divided by the speed. Okay? Alright, so we go to our table. Split it down the middle. You got car one, car two. So speed, distance, time. Now I don't need this formula because I know both the speeds. If I know the miles per hour, I know both the speeds, 75 and 60. Put the faster one here, the slower one here. Now distance is just the miles and you see this further, so plus 120. That's with your faster car. What plus 120? I don't know, so I use a variable. And then this is just x without the plus 120. So we didn't need that either. We had something way awake we could write that without. But what we don't have is a way to write the time. We know that the times are equal. And we also know that time is distance divided by speed. So the distance is x plus 120. And the speed is 75. So we can't divide because we don't know what x is. x 
60. These are the answers because they're asking me for the miles. So x plus 120 over 75 is e equivalent to x over 60. Again, a, b, c, d. So you set up the equals with the two parentheses, a times b, c times d. So a is x plus 120, b is 60, c is x, d is 75. Now we know over here that's 75x. Remember, you got to put the x on. Now over here you got plus, you distribute 60 to 120 and 60 to x. So 60x, 7,200. So drop your plus, you have 60x, 7,200. Take out your smaller x, which would be our 60, and subtract it from 75x. So that's 15x. 7,200. Okay. Now you just have to divide by 15. So 7,200 divided by 15 is going to be 480. Okay. So remember, I'm finding the miles, so that's the distance. It's like you're using the time to get the distance. So 480 plus 120 is 600, and then the other one's 480. Doesn't matter the order you write them. 